Oh wow, chrome on a carbon bike. I'm pretty sure you have seen these iconic track bikes with the chrome paint job on during Tour de France and that's exactly what I like to try in the video and what we need is a carbon bike of course and what we also need is a spray gun. So let's do it and I'll show you how to do the chrome paint job. But before we can do the fun part, the colors, we have to do a lot of preparation because these paint jobs are absolutely nothing for beginners and a good spray gun is a must. If you need a spray gun, check the video links in the description and you can find the ones I use. But for the first step, we have to take away the spray guns because we don't need the spray gun. But what we need is wet sand from a wet sanding bucket because these frames come ready to paint, but it doesn't mean they are ready. We have to sand the surface until it's absolutely smooth because we need the super smooth and super perfect finish. And to do that, I'm using wet sandra and some wet sanding paper. And my weapon of choice is 1200 grit wet sanding paper to sand down the primer of the frame. So wetten the wet sanding paper, fold it in half like so, and then sand the primer of the frame until it's absolutely smooth. We are on the paint boost, frame is prepared and now we have to apply black color and you have two options. You can use a two component top coat on one side or a base coat and a two component clear coat on the other side. So you can choose, but both of them have to be two component systems. I choose the clear coat version because I hate to spray top coat. What I have to do is a black base coat first and then a two component clear coat on top. Let's go. I let the base coat sit for an hour at 60 degrees Celsius so I'm sure it's dried and the next step is crucial for the project. I have to do an absolutely flawless clear coat so no jokes, no spray gun flips, full concentration, let's do it. All the hard prep work and paint work is done and now it's time to have some fun to do the chrome effect and some cool colors. And to create the chrome effect I used the Mipa V-Chrome Mirror Glaze, but chrome color is not the right word, it's more than a polished metal, so I call it liquid metal. Let's fill it in the spray gun, let's change again to the paint booth and let's apply it on the frame. Let's talk about some hard facts before we start because what's recommended for the V-Chrome is a mini spray gun with a maximum tip size of 0.8 and the black lacquer has to cure for minimum 48 hours before you can apply the V-Chrome. That's all, let's do it. Yeah, look at this. That's the frame after the application of the Mipa V-Chrome added four layers in total. Now the frame looks like polished stainless steel, but we are not done. The next steps will be very colorful. What I like to do is I like to apply tints like on the track bikes in blue, in orange, also in purple, 
but before I can do that, I have to apply a chrome primer to save the chrome from any solvents in the colors. And when I've done that, I'll show you how to apply the candies. And the next and last step will be a protection clear coat to make this paint shop durable and usable for a bike. And here we are at the paint booth and the next step is crucial to save the glossiness and shine of the chrome effect. And what's recommended is a 1K water-based primer, but what I loaded in this spray gun is not really a primer. It's a 1K water-based intercoat, clear of course, that's what you have to use. And if you want the stuff I use, find the link underneath the video in the video description. Please check the video description so you can find the stuff I'm using. So it's a 1K intercoat. Water-based, of course, that's a must. And what I'm doing is I'm applying light coats of the intercoat until the chrome gets dull, but don't hesitate. The shine comes back when we apply the clear coat. So at first the intercoat, then the candy colors and the clear coat on top. Let's do it. Now it's time for the coolest part of the video, spraying candy colors over the chrome finish. And I highly recommend the Createx Candy O2 candy colors. I have some leftovers from previous jobs and if you want to order them yourself, please check the video description. I'll link the Candy O2 underneath the video. So feel free to order them yourself if you want to use the stuff I use. And I like to do nearly the same like on Patterson's track during Tour de France. So I need a candy blue, magenta, yellow, or so orange. We start with the candy yellow, so let's fill it in the gun and then let's change to the paint booth to apply the Patterson color. Let's start with light strokes on the bottom of the fork. Not too much color, only a little bit, like so. Let's do the same on the bottom bracket. Also a little bit on the dropouts. Let's do a direct color change to orange. No cleaning of the spray gun required. Just put the orange in and continue spraying. I let those candies sit for 3 hours at 60 degrees Celsius so all the solvents could evaporate from the color and now the frame is ready for clear coat which is also crucial and what I'm using is a two component high solid clear coat. No thinner in the clear coat, that's also important and I will apply three layers with a delay of 10 minutes in between. I start with a dusty first layer, I wait 10 minutes. Another dusty layer, again waiting 10 minutes and then a thick finish layer and that should be okay. So let's start and you see me applying the first layer then I have to turn off the camera because of the dust and I show you the finished frame and I've applied the clear coat.
Yeah, here it comes, the chrome candy colored carbon frame. Let's appreciate it a while until I have to sand it down. Yes, you heard right. I have to sand this cool color. It hurts my heart, but I have to do it because I have to apply down tube logos, also some hair tube logos and for good adhesion and high quality. I have to sand this cool color. And to do that, I'm using an ultra fine soft scuff pad like this with foam in the middle and two sides of sanding paper. And yeah, what we have to do is a light sanding of this cool color until it flattens. And I have to sand the complete frame, even if I have to apply logos on the down tube because I like to clear coat it completely. So let's do the sanding, the logo typing, the clear coat, and then it's time for some cool pictures. Yeah, the logo typing is on and the absolutely last step in this painting game is a protective clear coat. Again, a two component high solid clear coat. I'm motivated, let's do it. 